everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the products that I've been loving lately. I have skincare and makeup here, so if you guys are interested, then please keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to start off with skincare. So the first thing I want to talk about is this jade roller. So what you do with this is, I'm sure you've already seen it on Instagram and everywhere on the internet, but basically you roll this on your face, your forehead, and as well as your eyes because you have this little one for the eye. And what it does is it basically depuffs your face, your under eye, and I absolutely love this. I picked this one up from Winners in Canada, but you can also get them on Amazon. I actually ordered another one from Amazon, so I will leave a link down below because for some reason this one is making some squeaky noises now can hear it but regardless I still really love it it still works so what I like to do with this and what they recommend doing is putting it in your refrigerator for I don't know maybe a couple of hours let it get cool and then roll it over your face and it feels so nice and refreshing and cooling so what I like to do is I put my serum on first which I will also talk about in a minute and then I like to roll this over my face and I feel that it just penetrates the product into my skin a lot better and it's perfect for the under eye as well because my under eyes are always really puffy and I have that hollowness underneath my eyes I've always had that I don't know but yeah this actually does help so if you want to pick one up for yourself I will leave a link down below next I have the drunk elephant TLC night serum and I've been really enjoying this I picked this one up during the VIB Rouge sale now before I picked up this full size I was actually using the little one which actually came in a set with their oil which is the virgin marula oil so these two came together in a pack of two which was I think like $35 and this is like hundred something so it is super expensive drunk elephant line is expensive but I think she has just amazing products which really work if you have acne prone skin and I was using these ones and they were actually working great for my skin but at that time when I was using these um, I didn't really have a lot of acne but now I do and it's not that great however it's gotten so much better if you watch some of my previous videos you'll see how my skin used to be and how it is now lately but um, it's gotten so much better ever since I started using this again so I decided to pick up a full size because I ran out of those ones right so I decided to pick up a full size and it was also during the sales so I'm like why not I'll get a good discount I've been using this since April and I'm really really loving this I think it's helping my skin so much I will do a full skincare routine once I feel like my skin's getting better which it is but I will do a full skincare routine later on we use this during night I will put this one on and then go in with my jade roller and then rest of my creams and moisturizers if you guys are struggling with acne I would say try this one out um, but I mean everyone's skin is different so I don't know if it's just working for me so you can definitely try this one out if you don't want to splurge on this because it is really expensive and I totally understand I really have to think about it I'm like do I really want to spend hundred something dollars but then I did get a discount so you know but if you don't want to spend the money on that try picking up the smaller one that comes in a set with their oil um, I think they still have that on Sephora I will leave a link down below if they do have it still next I have the Kiehl's blue herbal targeted lotion so whenever I feel like I have a pimple about to come out I will pop this one on at night and it helps so much it will just kind of dry out the pimple and just stop it from coming out fully onto the surface I don't put this on before my moisturizers or my serums I actually put this on at the very end so after my serum moisturizers and everything I will put this one on so I feel like that's why it doesn't dry out my skin it hydrates it as well as fights the pimple from coming onto the surface you know again if you guys are suffering from acne try this one as well it says it's for acne prone skin and it has um, ginger root in it so ginger I know is good for you so 
yeah and if you guys have been watching my videos for a while now you know I love Kiehl's skincare products definitely pick this one up for spot treatment it is so good Next, another serum that I want to talk about is the clean organics um, serum I actually mentioned this um, in my skincare video that I did maybe a year ago or maybe two years ago now but yeah I'm still using this this is a new bottle that I picked up recently this is a vitamin C serum and vitamin C is really good um, for brightening up your face brightening up those acne scars I picked this one up from Amazon just read the reviews look at the pictures and you'll be convinced trust me this is so good and it's crazy how inexpensive this product is like this is not a hundred dollar product or anything it's literally less than twenty dollars I think right I think this is less than twenty dollars and it works like magic and especially now that I have acne scars I really see the results with this like in brightening up those scars like in the past yes like I I've seen results with it it would make my skin really nice and smooth and bright and everything but back then I kind of had really good skin right so I had nothing to really compare it to and now that I have acne which obviously I'm not happy about but I actually do see the results even more because it's helping my problematic skin you know what I mean so if that if that makes any sense <laughs> please check it out please give it a try you are not gonna regret it next I have the ordinary 100% um, rose hip oil this is all organic 100% rose hip oil I love oils in my nighttime skincare routine it's just feels nice on my skin and I like to keep my skin really hydrated so I've always loved oils in my nighttime skincare routine and this one is really inexpensive but really really good it just absorbs right into my skin and it doesn't leave me greasy or oily nothing like that next I have this nip and fab nip plus fab body um, bust fix night <laughs> alright so this is actually a cream for your decollete and like your chest area and honestly, I don't know if this is just in my head or it actually works, but I feel like ever since I started using this, it just really plumped up my chest area, like my boobies. Because <laughs> I actually put them all over here, like my neck, my chest, and as well as down here, you know? Um, but I don't know if it's just in my head or it's actually been plumping this area here, but I feel like it's been plumping my boobies you know so yeah I've been using this for quite some time now I think like almost six months maybe I think yeah I actually picked this one up from winners um, and it was like 499 so it's really inexpensive too look it says it's a bust fix cream okay it's a bust fix cream and um, it's supposed to plump the look of the bust and the decollete area so it says a cream formula with an amplifier complex that works extra hard while you sleep to visibly plump plus firm the appearance of the bust area. And it says to use nightly, which I do. Some nights I forget, but I've been using it pretty much every night. Some nights I forget, but I use it maybe like three out of five nights still. So I think it's been helping and plumping up this area. So I don't know just in my head but I think it's right. so that's all for skincare now we can move on to some makeup foundations that I've been using recently and that I've been loving are these two this is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation and the wet n wild photo focus foundation this is super inexpensive and works amazing I love the finish of this foundation I think this is probably my favorite drugstore foundation right now every time I wear this foundation I get compliments on my skin and people usually ask me, are you wearing like a NARS foundation or Urban Decay or something like that? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm wearing Wet n Wild, you know? <laughs> and it's so hard for them to believe. It. This makes your skin look super flawless in pictures and in person. And the NARS Radiant is just another amazing foundation. It's full coverage. 
it gives you that radiant finish of course and it wears really nicely on my face as well it lasts a long time on my face um, I think some people have said it doesn't last but I never had an issue and it works great so this one I have in the shade Barcelona and this one I have in desert Beige. oh let's talk about a brow pencil I've mentioned this in my previous video but this is the Sephora brow pencil when I picked this one up I didn't know it's waterproof but when I used it in my previous video I noticed it's waterproof so yeah but it's actually not that difficult to get off um, I just don't like waterproof products because it just takes too much time to get them off but this is great um, I really really like it and the shade is really nice as well that's what I'm wearing today I have this in the shade soft charcoal number six I think I can go up a shade to the last shade but they didn't have it at that time only thing is I don't like the spoolie side like it's not even a spoolie it's those little brush this tiny little brush and I don't like this because it's no use to me I actually have to reach out for my actual spoolie so that's kind of annoying but I still like this it is cheaper than the Anastasia and the Benefit and it works really great so it has a wax type of consistency by the way for contouring I've been using the wet n wild contour palette this is so dirty it's kind of embarrassing but I really really like this I use this banana shade a lot now to brighten underneath my eye and the sides of my nose and um, as well as the contour shade it's a really nice um, color yeah I don't know if you can see it I'm the worst swatcher of life so don't mind but yeah it's a really nice drugstore palette if you're looking for a highlight and contour palette totally recommend this next for blush I've been loving two blush palettes well this is not really a palette but yeah I've been loving the Anastasia blush kit in radiant I think these are just the perfect shade for spring and summer you have your peachy coral pink mauve and kind of like a dusty mauve shade and yeah I just love these shades and they're super pigmented you need just a tiny bit I usually go for the um, peachy coral one because peach and coral blushes are my favorite and I've also been reaching for this one um, this is the bomb cosmetics hot mama blush and I think it is super pretty for spring and summer again it has that nice sheen to it I don't know if you can see it. Actually, what am I doing on my nose? Um, it's right here. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm Blush. Um, I don't have that. I've never used that one. But I've seen what it looks like and it kind of reminds me of that. It gives you that nice glow on the cheeks, but it's not going to emphasize your texture and pores next is a highlighter and you've probably seen this coming if you've been watching my videos but it's the Anastasia and Amorizi highlighter this is such a beautiful beautiful formula I I've never used anything like this before like the formula wise it's it's just really really different um, I don't think there's anything in the market like this the formula is what I love actually I'm wearing on my face today as you can see it's super reflective that's what I love it just looks wet and really reflective so pretty and this is the perfect inner corner highlighter for me it pops it pops like crazy and I love it I just have to wet my brush a little bit go in and boom you have the perfect inner corner highlight the first palette I have is the Anastasia soft glam palette probably not a surprise either it's such a pretty palette it's just all the colors that you could possibly ever need I feel like so I'm gonna be using this a lot in the spring and summer if you haven't picked this one up I highly recommend picking this one up I think this is just a staple in your collection next I have the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette this is not new um, but I just pulled this one out again and I was like why haven't I used this and this is all shimmer shades here but just look at it look at this palette it is so pretty and these shades don't have a lot of fallout barely any fallout which is crazy because I mean they're all shimmery shades and shimmery shades usually always have a lot of fallout these are just the perfect colors to make your lids pop this is the palette that I go to when I feel like I need that pop on my lid you can either use them wet 
or dry. I did this bluish greenish look like a couple of weeks ago and this is the palette I use. I used this one and this one um, on my lid and it looked so pretty. I was like, oh my god, why don't I use this more often? So I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. Oh, so I want to talk about a powder I forgot. I have the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I came back to this powder. If you guys are looking for a drugstore powder, definitely check this one out. It makes my skin really smooth and airbrushed. It doesn't go into my fine lines or anything. Wearing it today, I don't know if you can tell, but it just leaves my under eye really airbrushed and smooth. All right, next we are almost done. How are you talking about my favorite product? I know these are like all my favorite products, but this one. Oh my god, I need to talk about this. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Concealer. Oh my god. I don't know where to start with this concealer. I've been sleeping on this concealer. Honestly, like this concealer is so freaking amazing. I think this is my favorite concealer ever. I don't care about Tarte Shape Tape, I don't care about the Laura Mercier. This concealer tops it all. I could like throw out all my other concealers and just have this and I will be happy forever. <laughs> That's a really bold statement. If you guys haven't tried this concealer, please go and check this out. You are gonna fall in love with it. I feel like this is such an underrated concealer. I don't really see anyone talk about this concealer to be honest and I have this in the shade light medium warm what I love about it is it's hydrating which I need because my under eyes are sometimes really dry second is its full coverage third is it blends like a dream it just blends beautifully like you don't have to like sit there and just pounce your concealer in it will just shh, like blend it for you I don't know it's so weird but I freaking love this the formula of this is just amazing I don't know I have like nothing negative to say about this concealer this is even cheaper than the NARS radiant concealer it lasts all day it doesn't crease oh my god I forgot that part it doesn't crease I love this so much that I just keep forgetting to mention like these things but it doesn't crease Take that in it does not crease on me please try this one out if you don't like it you can return it you know like no big deal but please try out this concealer you're gonna love it. love it last thing that I have to talk about are lip products I have quite a few but I'm just gonna quickly go through them the lipstick that I've been wearing pretty much every single day is the Anastasia spice matte lipstick and yes this is like the mini version because this came in a set of I think like four or five mini lipsticks and I've just been loving it ever since so yeah this is this wait this is not spice this is kiss oh my god I took off the wrong one so yeah this one is kiss um it's like a mauve tone right here but the one that I've been wearing almost every single day is spice and this one is more of that brown shade which I love so yeah I'm definitely gonna pick up a full size once I'm done next I have the Kylie Kristen lipstick whenever I want a berry tone lip I like to go for this and it just makes your lips look really nice and plump I feel like this is the one right here super pretty it's an everyday berry color so I love that next I have the Too Faced metal why do I keep saying metal next I have the Too Faced melted latex liquid lipstick and hopeless romantic these are super glossy on your lips I love it and this is the one right here I'll insert a picture where I wore this another liquid lipstick I have is the Huda Beauty bombshell and I took this one out again. I kind of forgot about this, but yeah, it's this one right here. And her liquid lipstick formulas are definitely one of my favorites. You really don't feel anything on your lips. You know, some liquid lipsticks are really heavy. This one, you really don't feel anything. It's awesome. Next, I have two glosses. The first one is the Maybelline Unreal um, Vivid Hot Lacquer Gloss and I love 
this gloss. Like, look at this color. Tell me this is not the prettiest color ever. I like to put this over the Spice lipstick from Anastasia. And you got yourself the perfect brownish nude glossy lip. It looks so, so good. Trust me. Last but not least, I have the Bite Beauty Honey um, lip gloss. And this is a very sheer lip gloss, but it gives you that nice um, sheen to it. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. See how reflective it is? Right here. It is super reflective. It has little gold um, sparkles in it. It just makes your lips look wet. You know and I love it that is everything that I have I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this is not too long but if you guys are interested in any of the products that I mentioned I will leave links to all of them down below so make sure you check it out and if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it really helps me also don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video which is every week and we'll see you all in the next one with the white on top Lambo doors or the woo up drop If you busy plotting on what I got Kicking your door or swat you thought Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop Have price my whip, same price my